Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Outbreak. We're still not done with Dot Hack Outbreak. We may have beaten the story mode, got the yellow flag, and could move on to quarantine. However, we still have three more secret areas to visit. I still have a golden gob tag boss battle to fight and a special boss that you get at beating the game. Oh, and if we go to another server, or the previous server than this one, there's a place that we need to go in order to, uh, I don't beat that, something. We were just supposed to go to it and never did because it was too high a level for us. So, I'm gonna continue on with going to the hidden areas. We have three left gonna get those out of the way and then depending on where we're at on time we're gonna go and do something else so let me get my team together I'm gonna do a sweep of the area see if I can't find somebody to trade these items that we just found and uh, I'll be right back and we're back and ready to go to our first area I'm gonna bring Marlo and Nuke with us this time they won the lowest XP uh, reward so they get to join us. Entwined prejudice chaos. Look at the dungeon glowing on all sides. Field type has red. Nothing else is glowing. Let's see, with entwined prejudice chaos, it's a keyword found on the back of the dot hack sign DVD volume 6 terminus cover. Uh, Kokoro is hidden somewhere in the dungeon, and you receive Rogue Fragment from the God Statue. We ran into somebody yesterday who was looking for that. So, let's go. Alright, and just like with the other ones that we did, uh, I'm just going to show you when we get there what we find, where the items are at, so on and so forth. Be right back. Here we are at the God Statue, where we get the Rogue Fragment. And the Rogue Fragment is just another one of those wonderful trade items that are gonna sit in here, just waiting. Just waiting for that moment when we come across the NPC that needs it. To hit the other item. And there's the other item that we needed at Kokoro. Which I didn't realize as we were here. I data drained multiple uh, monsters and got Kokoro. <laughs> so, not as rare as you might think. Four copies of the damn thing. But it's a negative effect one, it's a joke weapon. Attack and magic are negative. It's. I haven't found any use for it. Comes with charm. We have found the person who is looking for the Magnolia Misu, who's gonna give us cat's gloves. And give them Magnolia Misu. Bam! Cat's gloves. Let's check them out. Rare level 73. Come with Riptine, which is the cure for poison, paralysis, speed down, decrease in physical stats. And Rip Sync, which cures the other half, sleep confusion charm. Nice little cure gloves. Stats there, I guess I get, are okay. I don't really know. Let me check compared to what I got. So we got the Sonic gloves, one level lower. Uh, we get higher physical. And in defense and evasion, evasion goes back to max. Our magical defense will go down three, and our magical evasion will go down. Uh, we'll get a lot of increases to our elements, with the exception of wood that goes down by three. And it's just little increases. Health and SP, however, go up a lot more. Ah, uh, we will lose Victorma. And uh, Mikju Cruise, which I use for wood spells. Um, I think I'm willing to 
make an exception, trade it off. We already have something that gives us, uh, was it rip sink? Something else, one of the other items I have equipped. But I'm gonna put the cat's gloves on. Boom, we'll rock the cat's gloves for a while. All right, now we head off to the next area, tested morphine alchemy. This is the keyword found on the back of the dot hack sign DVD volume six terminus cover. Has vampires blades hidden somewhere in the dungeon and you receive Fields Deed from the God Statue. I bet you Vampire's Blades has lifesteal. Same as before. Gonna show you when I get the items. All right, here we are at the God Statue to get Fields Deed. Fields Deed is another one of those treasure items that we need to trade to someone very special. Let's go get the other item. And here's the Vampire Blades. They are a level 44 rare twin blade weapon. Come with Terra Cyclone, Darkness Slash, it's a very dark weapon. And even includes Life Drain as well. However, while here, I did find a much better twin blade for myself called Stealth Blades. I got it through data draining one of the monsters. It's a level 49 weapon for a twin blade. Also a darkness weapon only has the one attack, but it comes with Suvele, which is paralyzing, so the hangman, and Mumenle, which is the sleep, so the moon, like the only two tarot cards that really matter. So you can paralyze somebody or put them to sleep and then go in there and uh, take them out. Absolutely great. So that's gonna be the blades that we're gonna be using. And Vampire Blades can just sit and gather dust inside of our storage. Alright, and wouldn't you see our luck here? We found Bennett, who will trade us Yoshida 26 for one box lunch. Yoshida 26 is a Wave Master item. A rare Wave Master item, which, as low a level as it is, may not be that great but we're gonna give it to uh, wise men all the same Bam, Yoshida 26 let's see what it does it's not gonna find that there uh, let's see it is a darkness spell level 3 darkness spell Gives you a level 2 summon spell and a level 3 summon spell as well. So that's pretty cool. Definitely a big darkness type weapon. 15 resistance to darkness, minus 15 to light. Crazy. Magical attack 16, magical accuracy at 10. Maybe it's not that bad. I don't know, I, I haven't really paid close enough attention to the Wave Master staffs to figure that out. And here we go, we found the person who's looking for Fields Deed. You're gonna trade us dreams of your old waffle. It is a, a rare weapon for a heavy blade. He wants Fields Deed. Boom, dreams of your. Let's see what it does. 29 attack. Five attack and accuracy for magical gives you Raraku, which is a thunder attack, level two. Uh, Murakumo, which is a level three thunder attack, and then a level two thunder magic attack. May raid dog. Fifteen light resistance, minus five to dark, which isn't too too bad. Cause it's not minus fifteen could be something nice for Black Rose to wield around. All right, now we go to the last area, Abrasive False Tragedy. Is the keyword found in the Dot Hack Outbreak magazine ad. A dungeon where you can meet Bear and receive his sword, 
Also receive the Maiden's Blot from the God Statue. We're gonna go eat there, you guys. Isn't that great? From the Dot Hack series. From the Dot Hack side anime series. We met Mimaru that one time. I'm curious with the combination how many times people just randomly come across these areas. Alright, as I previously have been doing, see you in the dungeon. I Eat heard 20. that the Golden Grunty was here, but all I got was a crystal stone. Hmm. I don't want it, so you can have it. Oh, thanks. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm only interested in the Golden Grunty. Oh, I'll give you these too. Okay, I received a set of Grunty food. Nice. This many? Are you sure? Yeah, take it. You're really only interested in the Golden Grunty. Why? to use them get a whole mess of health what's that crystal stone for? is that a key item it's a trade item elk what are you doing here uh, um i was looking for mia but it's elk. Great job. That was a nice fight. Luca? <laughs> no, no. This old man isn't that famous. I'm Bear. Nice to meet you. I support new players. But you guys don't really need any assistance from me. And you. Huh? Me? You remind me of an old comrade. Oh, yes. I don't know if this will be of any use to you, but I'd like for you to have it. Here. Well, so long and good luck. Who knows? We may run into each other again. I wasn't able to find Mia here either. I'll go look elsewhere. We got Bear Sword. Let's go check it out. What is Bear Sword? How strong is it? It's for Blade Master, level 53. Gives you Gigan Crack, which is a Earth Attack. Deck of War, which decreases target's defense. And Deck of Warma, which decreases target's magic defense. All positive stats. Looking pretty good. Normally, I would give this to Marlow. However, while doing this adventure, I data drained and got Phoenix Fire. 
and it's a level 55 rare weapon for blade masters so i don't believe he's gonna equip it so i'm gonna say bear sword when he gave it to ball monk instead all right at the god statue let's get our treasure maiden's plot the last thing that we needed and there we go the final treasure item now i have no idea what to do with the crystal stone I thought I was supposed to give that to, uh, Bear, but I guess I'll hold on to it. Maybe I gotta find somebody to give a crystal stone to. There we go, we found the person who will give us Cat's Boots for Scent of Giro. We're looking for Fool for that one. Trade Cat's Boots. Give him scent of Eero. Now we have Cat's Boots. Rare level 73, positives, no negatives. Gives us Dektorv, which decreases target's accuracy, and Apto, which speeds up a target, temporarily increasing speed. So don't need speed charms. They've got cat boots. Now that all the hidden areas have been cleared, I'm gonna take the team. We're gonna go to the other server because there's a mission that we missed. So we're gonna go do that mission. So we never finish this. It was a keyword on the board. A red one is witnessed here. Stocking the trade nothingness. It was level 70, so it didn't do it. And now, well, the game's over. So let's go do it. I'm really hoping by doing this later, it doesn't ruin any type of story that was supposed to come of this. I don't know if there'd be any progression. It didn't really seem like the game does things like that. Where it's like a complete one random thing on there and that more happens. If anything, maybe there was like a party member here that we were supposed to get. Well, you know how this works. I guess I'll do the uh, first battle and let you guys see the last battle before I go into the dungeon. first fight. I didn't get to see the last fight. Alright, and the last portal is a treasure. Wasn't that exciting? Alright, so it's the big skeleton guy and uh, this mat mantis uh, monster. Seems to be the most that we were coming across. We're also coming across the lich uh, a couple of times. But nothing really bad. Those stealth daggers really come in handy. Putting things into uh, paralyze and into sleep. Super handy. Alright, let's. Fairy's Orb. Skeleton guy. Sleep. 
he's using right now, Minerva. And it's a pretty high level rare item that has light attacks. So he just annihilates that skeleton guy. Uh, we're just gonna focus on getting down to the bottom. I'm not gonna focus on clearing the dungeon. That egg.
activating light elemental attacks. Something with the red wand. Doesn't look like there's anything. <laughs> Wait a minute. <gasps> That's the red wand. <laughs> Skates red wand. Skates wand. It's back for revenge. <laughs> Bingo! Oh, huh? wait a minute. Thank you? He said bingo, I didn't say thank you. For a minute there, I thought we were either going to have to fight him or he was going to join us. Hmm. I guess if you watch the anime, you'd understand more about what that was about. Sora's Blades. And then we go back to town. I wonder how good Sora's Blades are. We've gotten bears, we've got Imaru's. Now I've got Sora's. Level 34 rares. Saber Dance, Tiger Claw, Staccato, as the added effect of death. It's pretty good. Like the abilities, but no element on any of them. Which is kind of a bummer. Because the elements are really, really what plays a big part right now. And look here, we found a person who's going to give us Gimme Life for the Rogue Fragment. It's a blade. 
Blade Master Weapon, level 51. Rogue Fragment, bam. How good is that weapon? Gives us Gan Spiral, a level 3 Earth Attack, gives us Skill Train. Negative to Wood Element, but positive to other things. Might be good. Not as good as Bear Sword. But we'll find a Blade Master to give that to anyways. Uh, not as good as what I got Marlo, so I think I'll just uh, hang on to it for now. But hey, there you have it. That's uh, three areas hidden areas that we visited down and out and then we finally went back and did that quest and wound up getting Sora's blades out of it kind of wish I went there sooner but as high a level as it was I don't think I would survive maybe if it was a lower level it'd be better because as is the weapon that paid off too not that high a level for being the area that it's in we got a lot of great things along the way, different items. We've leveled up from the two levels I lost last game. I have now gained them back and have increased two levels to 72. So that's just gonna make us stronger for when we go in to quarantine, which we still have things to do in Outbreak. So I believe we have just one more video left. We're going to be going and fighting a boss, which is in this town. And then we have the Golden Gob tag boss to fight as well. And I believe that's it. And that, that'll be everything that we have completed. Outbreak. And we will move on to quarantine. And hopefully that'll be a great way to start Monday. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game of Don Hack Outbreak. Goodbye.